If you have a nickname like Ace, you're probably pretty good at whatever you do. Ace Bailey certainly is. In fact, he might be the top basketball prospect in the 2024 class. And that's this week's five-star feature. His name is Arius Bailey, but most people just call him Ace. And he's not sure exactly where the nickname came from. The Ace came from me being a little boy. Um, ever since I was little, it was just a name that was given to me. I never knew where it came from. It was just one day someone called me Ace, and I've just been going along with it. Whoever gave him that name might have had a hint he'd be a good athlete because of his family history. Both of his parents played college basketball, and his aunt, Venus Lacey, played in the WNBA. So young Ace always had someone to coach him up. Yeah, when I was little, me and my days ago, I signed and drove to basketball. My mom, she worked me out. My pops worked me out. So it just took me in, and I just started loving the basketball, became a basketball. Even if Ace did look promising as a youngster, he has far exceeded any expectations anyone had for him back then. He's now a consensus five-star prospect, and many consider him among the top three players overall in the 2024 class. Cedric Dozier is a family friend who's been coaching Ace for more than 10 years now. Since he was young, he's been able to just do it all, you know, from if it's from rebounding to blocking shots to being able to uh, offensive game to, you know, defense. Ace is the best player in the country. I've been saying that since last year. He's the best player in the country. There's, I've been around basketball a long time. I've been around basketball. I've been around pros a long time. I played my freshman year. I played college basketball with Harold Miner and played against, you know, Don McClain and Tracy Murray, Jason Kidd, and all those. Ace is he has the potential. His upside is ridiculous. Like, he's the best player in the country. Ace grew up in Chattanooga, Tennessee, but he's been in the Atlanta area the past three years. He attends McEachern High School, which has one of the state's elite basketball programs. The campus has terrific facilities with several basketball courts. So a gym rat like Ace can always get in extra work. We're tremendously blessed here at McEachern to have some great facilities, but like you know, like my mother always told me, to whom much is given, much is expected. Um, it's great. Not too many high, uh, high schools give you this opportunity to have multiple courts. If people on the court, you got other three other courts to work out on. I coach stuff. If you know somebody to come to the gym with you, it's easy to call them, just come to the gym and work out with them. So it's just, it's great. When you see a kid work at that they're willing to work every day and sometimes bother you about going to the gym, then you say, that kid has a chance. At six feet, nine inches tall, Ace has a big man's frame, but the skill set of a guard. He's the ideal prospect for the modern game. I can do it all. Whatever coach wants me to do, I'll do it. Ace is a product of the times. Right now, everybody's practicing and everybody's preparing and, and, and developing these kids to play positionless basketball. Because if you look in the NBA, if you look in college right now, everybody's going to face the basket at some point in time. So with Ace's skill set and what he's been doing and his size, Ace is a product of the times right now. It's just that God has touched him. And when God touches somebody with that extra, um, no different than a, an amazing student, no different than an amazing you know, leader, whatever it may be, Ace has been touched. And so when I see his skill set, I see the product of Kevin Durant. I see the product of the NBA right now. So when I look at the NBA, I can see Ace. Ace is committed to Rutgers for next season. With a potential top five class forming around him, Ace wants to take the Scarlet Knights to another level, not just in the Big Ten, but also in the NCAA tournament. It'd be great. It'd be awesome. We win it all. It just felt like home. My mom loved. I'm big on family, so my mom loved it. My coaching staff loved it. Coach Ed, Coach Dane, everybody around me, they loved it. So it was like it's the best, best opportunity for me too. So I chose Rutgers. While there's a good chance that Ace could be playing in the NBA in two or three years, the coaches at McEachern will remember him as an uplifting leader who could always put smiles on their faces. It's crazy because. Uh... Even if we pull up at a stop sign, I can just give him ten dollars and he'll look up, he'll get all ten dollars to a homeless person. And I'm like, man, I ain't got no more money, man. What you doing? <laughs> he like, go say they need it. And I say, okay, man, you know, so he just like I said, a good caring, loving person, you know. Uh, you would take away basketball, he'll be successful in the real world. He's the best player in the country, but he's a better kid. So, you know, if you think that he's the best player in the country, he's an even better young man. And so that's what I love about him. That's what excites me about anything. Basketball comes and goes, that ball's eventually gonna stop. What is he gonna be when that ball stops? And what he's gonna be, he's gonna be a leader, he's gonna be a respectable a community leader, he's gonna make sure people follow him, he's gonna make sure that he's gonna teach people, he's gonna give back. Like Ace is going to be something special when he gets older outside of basketball. To go to the NBA, I mean everything. I mean it's a dream come true, huh? 
been a dream to me ever since I was a little, little kid, uh, just to make it pro, take care of my family. Let them know that I'm still playing a game of basketball, still living in our family, it means a lot. Let them know the hard work, the dedication, the sacrifices that I made to put in this position that I am now, paying off. Man, I love the kid. I mean, I've, I think I've said it all, but I, I love the kid. I think the kid's future is so bright, and I can't wait to, to see what the world has for him, and, and I'm excited about where he's going. No matter what hand Ace is dealt in the future, there's no doubt he'll put in the time and effort to continue living up to his name. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.